underfunded health care plans, skyrocketing costs. It's no wonder that fewer than 10 percent of Americans actually have long-term care insurance. And many who should have coverage often wait until they're sick or infirm to try to get it when they can no longer qualify for it. So what other options are out there to help defray health care costs in your later years? Bertha Coombs has the final installment in our series, How to Navigate Long-Term Care, with a look at securing coverage when securing insurance is no longer an option. This is your B12, that little bitty pink thing. 82-year-old Nancy Meadows can't care for herself anymore, but she still has good days. She uh, just in, it seems to really enjoy her life. By the time her son Chuck tried to help her get long-term care insurance, she'd already shown signs of dementia. And uh, they just weren't going to write the insurance on that. He's moved in to help care for her and is managing her pension money and savings to help pay for a home health aid while he's away at work. I try to be as judicious with my mother's financial assets as I possibly can. Um, we consider very carefully when we have to spend money on anything. Home health aides are among the most affordable option for long-term care services, says John DeHart, founder of the home care firm Nurse Next Door. Forty percent of our clients across North America uh, require less than 10 hours a week of service, which equates to less than $1,000 a month. With his mom's house fully paid for, Chuck expects the home's equity could serve as another source of funds down the road. I believe all of that will probably keep me in a pretty good shape unless it gets down to where it's critical 24-hour care. And uh, then at that point, I, I don't honestly know. Financial planner Crystal Cooper says in some states, cashing out on life insurance is becoming an option, while in some areas, hybrid life insurance plans now offer possibilities for long-term care. You pay in a lump sum amount, and there are some long-term care benefits that are associated with that policy. People with higher incomes and savings clearly have more options. Cooper says those with more limited resources may want to consider relocating from high cost areas to places where living expenses and down the line, long-term care costs for assisted living and nursing home care will be lower. As a last resort, seniors who exhaust their savings receive care through Medicaid, the federal state health insurance plan for the poor. The flaw in the strategy is that when Medicaid covers your service, you have no choice. You go where Medicaid wants you to go. Chuck Meadows hopes he'll be able to do better for his mom and for himself when the time comes. I'm already now uh, looking at how I'm going to position my uh, uh, self financially to support my needs when I get ready to retire. Planning ahead is the most important step. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bertha Coombs.